Man Up on Iowa Catholic Radio with Joe Stopulis and Father Zach Kautsky is inspiring men to live out their call to holiness every Monday at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Courtesy of Farm Bureau Financial Services and Construction Professionals, it's time to Man Up. Welcome to Man Up on Iowa Catholic Radio. We are broadcasting today from the Mercy Live Up Studios, heard on 1150 AM, 88.5 FM, and 94.5 FM. We're on the globe streaming online at iowacatholicradio.com and on the Iowa Catholic Radio app. Also, please subscribe to our podcast on iTunes. I am Joe Stopulis, along with Father Zakowski. Today we will be joined again by Bear Wozniak, and we will be discussing his new television show on EWTN, The Long Ride Home. Father Zach, would you please open us up in a word of prayer? In the name of the Father, Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, you've given us the joy of friendship and companionship in this life. We ask that in all of our friendships that we would have a common goal, the common goal being you and heaven. So we ask you to bless our time together today and our conversation coming up with Bear. And we ask you to continue to bless all of our listeners. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So on his show, uh, Bear really combines a lot of the themes of friendship, uh, adventure, and faith. And thought we could spend this first segment talking uh, kind of a little bit more about that. Yeah, there's a a quote I use from C.S. Lewis quite often from his book called The Four Loves. And C.S. Lewis talks about uh, friendship in one of the chapters. So I wanted to read this, and bear with me. It's, it's a great quote. It's a little bit lengthy, but we can maybe discuss after. We think we have chosen our peers in friendship. In reality, a few years difference in the dates of our births, a few more miles between certain houses, the choice of one university instead of another, posting to different regiments, the accident of a topic being raised or not raised at a first meeting. Any of these chances might have kept us apart. But for a Christian, there are, strictly speaking, no chances. A secret master of ceremonies has been at work. Christ, who said to the disciples, You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, can truly say to every group of Christian friends, You have not chosen one another, but I have chosen you for one another. The friendship is not a reward for our discrimination and good taste in finding one one another out. It is the instrument by which God reveals to each other the beauties of all the others. So I think uh, when I hear this awesome quote from C.S. Lewis, I think of just the fact that the Lord is working in his providence, you know, guiding through our free will, but I think guiding certain people in our lives and through certain circumstances, always providing what we need. It's one of the ways that he cares for us. And I think one of the ways that he draws us to himself is that he gives us friends that can also have that common vision you know that common ultimate goal in life yeah and that is it's so important and it's been a theme of so many of our shows even when the the topic of our show is something that's completely unrelated to friendship we so often find ourselves back at the post of listen the christian life's hard and doing it by yourself is extremely hard and rare and the the more we embrace these friendships and seek out friendships that are rooted in in Christian understanding and the ideal of of pushing each other uh, in friendship towards this ideal of, of Christian living and, and our little group, Father. I mean, how awesome is it when we get together? We're not just talking about the sports scores. Yeah. When we get together, we're talking about how is your marriage? Yeah. What are you doing with your kids? What well, are you doing in your faith life? You know, and our group got together yesterday and we were talking, I mean, we talked about everything from natural family planning to, you know, very children. Open, very yeah, open about very our open conversations. Group. Yes. Uh, and, you know, spiritual, marriage, war, spiritual, spiritual warfare. warfare. I, mean, I mean, we had a just a great casual, I mean, it was awesome topics, you know, just, but they kind of came up just naturally to yeah. be able to like just share share our thoughts and and we're still quoting funny movies and talking about pop culture stuff but that those are then secondary those aren't the only thing we talk about those are those are secondary things that we're talking about but when we're together with whoever is in our in our groups of friends it's it's usually stuff of of higher nature it's things that are pointing us to hey is where are you struggling with anything is there anything that we can do to help you 
because uh, we're all in this this journey together. And I think again, talking, looking forward to what Bear's going to talk about. Uh, he does such a good job of combining the masculine. Uh, <laughs> he's extremely masculine. Uh, combining that with this love of Christ and love of friendship. So real quick, Father, can you plug the book uh, that, that you just quoted from? Yeah, so the book I just quoted from is uh, C.S. Lewis's, it's called The Four Loves. And C.S. Lewis, of course, wrote Screwtape Letters, uh, Chronicles of Narnia. And great so, Divorce. Great Your Divorce. Yes. So many great books. So many great books. So I would just say um, uh, I'd encourage you to, that's a great book for yeah, yourself. Yeah. And it's, mm-hmm. you know, I think it's like a couple bucks on on uh, wherever books are sold. Yeah, so it's, it's, um, so buy that book. It's awesome read. Yeah. So stick around with us. We're going to head to a short break, and when we come back, we will have Bear Wozniak again, uh, so you won't want to miss it. Thank you, Construction Professionals, for underwriting our show, Man Up. Construction Professionals have been long supporters of Iowa Catholic Radio, and we've seen their work firsthand. It's very impressive. They do remodeling or new construction that is innovative, functional, and designing what you want. cpcustomhomes.com. My Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Man Up on Iowa Catholic Radio. We are broadcasting today from the Mercy Live Up Studios, heard on 1150 AM, 88.5 FM, 94.5 FM, and around the globe, streaming online at iowacatholicradio.com and on the Iowa Catholic Radio app. I am Joe Stopulos, along with Father Zakowski, and today we're joined again by Bear Wozniak. Bear is a ser- serious adventure seeker, husband, father, and devout Catholic Bear is host of EWTN's Deep Adventure Radio, and in the past he's been a guest star and stuntman on Hawaii Five-0. Uh, he's an inductee of the Catholic Sports Hall of Fame, two-time world tandem surfing champ, and legend stand-up paddle surfing champ. He's a long-distance cyclist, scuba diver, skydiver, private pilot, mountain climber, motorcyclist, Benedictine Oblate, and Father of Four. Those all usually go together, too. All those that's, always that's go together. That's a thing for those to go together. And today we're going to talk to Bear... We're going to be back, and we're going to talk about his new show on EWTN called Long Ride Home. Bear, welcome to the show. Aloha. Glad to be back. No, we're excited to have you. I remember Father Zach on the first time, uh, I think, when he introduced you, he said his biography reads like the most interesting man in the <laughs> world. Uh, and I know we uh, we dove pretty deep into what tandem surfing is. Uh, so we can leave all that off. Go listen in our podcast archives to the first show with Bear. Bear, it's one of our most listened to shows ever, so that's a compliment to you. People, oh, I think, must that's have been cool. listening and listened to over and over again because it was that good. Um, that's cool. So we're if talking- you don't mind, you guys, I had to step outside on my lanai. Uh, they're doing construction, I guess, a couple condos up, so I'm having to look at Perfect Ocean. <sighs> oh, that's so uh, tough. Waves. <laughs> Sorry, so- but if you hear the waves breaking, that's what it is. <laughs> and you're in uh, Cocoa Beach, Florida. Yeah, beautiful last, Cocoa Beach. Last Love time you were in Hawaii. Right. Yeah. One of yeah. these. One of these days, we're going to catch you in like the middle of Texas somewhere. I, I I've just... been through. Well, we. If you watch Long Ride Home, you're going to see us in Texas. That's right. So yeah, we've Big been a long time there. We're, we're yeah. on episode three. So let's we'll jump into the show here in a little bit. Last time we had you on, uh, it was to, to discuss uh, your book uh, and your radio, your radio station, your radio show. Which just a plug for you. The Deep Adventure Radio is on. We we hosted on Iowa Catholic Radio Saturdays at five p.m. So, again, Saturdays, 5 p.m., you can hear Bo, or Bo, Bear on this station on Deep Adventure Radio. So, And we can dive maybe a little bit more into the book at the end if we have time, but let's talk about this show. What what in the world started the idea for a show on EWTN uh, with the premise of The Long Ride Home? Well, you know, we all love EWTN. I, I love the teaching, but I w- I'm an evangelist, and I want to get those people that are, that are kind of uh, – you know, skipping channels, looking for something to watch, and they're going to see a bunch of guys on motorcycles. They're going to stop and at least wonder what the heck that is. And it's, you know, I had a reality show on, on Fox, which is actually was a very, very real reality show. This is the only other one, the one that we're doing, is the only one other than that that I would say is actually a reality show. We took off on motorcycles, uh, two of us, Tony Orban and I from Cocoa Beach, Florida. We went up to Jacksonville, and then we headed west, and we kind of did it in reverse uh, – a ride that I had done 15 years earlier. I pedaled my bicycle from San Diego to Jacksonville. And so this was doing it in reverse back to San Diego and then up to Monterey where I was raised as a kid and where I had my first kind of moment of wonder at, at the age of 12 or, or so of the, of the majesty of God. So that's hence the title, Long Ride Home. 
Now, I watched the, the first episode, and as you were, it was, I think, right before you began your motorcycle ride across the south, that a, a Hurricane Matthew hit. Yeah. So you were in, yeah. you were in Florida, and yeah. you want to talk a little bit about that experience? That was, that was crazy. Well, it was thrilling. You know, it was, it's nothing to be messed with. You know, people, it isn't Disneyland. It's the real thing. But we looked, kept watching the, the, the video, I mean, the, the Weather Channel, and we knew it was going to hit uh, – Cocoa Beach, as the tide was at its lowest, as it was going out, so we have 200 mile per hour shutters on the condo. And we just butted ourselves in like Noah inside the ark, and we rode it out. And uh, but it was something, you know, to, to go through. And you see us—the very first thing you see in the show is us riding through basically a waterfall, <laughs> getting our motorcycles up to, uh, to higher ground because there's no such thing as higher ground here. Actually, we got it up into a upper floor parking lot. So when you're no high ground in Florida, when you're looking for a good TV show uh, and you're 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 starting off on a new reality TV show, you're probably welcoming a hurricane at that point. That, that's good. Oh, that's yeah. good fact, viewing. I was excited. I called. We had a meeting. With, we had a meeting with the network, and I go, "I'm so fired up. We got a really good rain uh, rain sequence." You know, this is a great premiere. Yeah, you got to have you got to have the bad. So people on the right. Oh, we're lucky. We're gonna have good good weather. And I'm like, oh no, we need something. We need some bad weather. And our second, you know, we shot our second season already, and we had some real horrific stuff going on. Well, difficult adversity going up from Virginia Beach to Allentown, New Jersey, 45 degrees and pouring rain, and it was, so it was cool. You kind of need that, right? Or it's not, it doesn't have any texture to show, you know? So you took off from Cocoa Beach, and you drove, and you had, uh, at what point did the priest join you on the Well, it was just really cool, because we had the Catholic Crossfairs Motorcycle Ministry, they met us in Louisiana, and they said, we're just going to escort you for a couple miles. They rode, a, they rode us all the way across Louisiana, and I think they really just wanted to make sure we left their state, <laughs> you know. But then they rode with us into Houston. We had a call to the wall bikers rally there in Houston. And then Father Mark Goring from the Catholic Charismatic Center, who was, uh, you know, he's joined me on my quest retreats, our surfing retreats. We rode into the Big Bend country of Texas, which, by the way, is a place you don't go to. It's not like Iowa where you... You don't you pass through on your way from Minnesota to Kansas City or something. You know it's right on the main freeway. The Big Bend is way is you know it's it's off the beaten track. It's hundreds of miles out of your way to get there. The road gets narrower and narrower. So it's kind of like our journey through life. You know, you if you want to get to heaven, you you got to take a detour at some point. You, you don't go there accidentally. You don't go there just by passing through. So when we went into the Big Bend. We thought we were going to have a lot of time of relaxing and prayer, but it became almost a military campaign. We felt like, like we were joining with Jesus when he went into the desert, you know, and the, and the church fathers, the, the monks of the desert of North Africa. We felt really like when we went into the desert, we were, we were on a spiritual camp. We were going, we were on the attack, basically. You know, St. Anthony and his men went in there to fight demons, and we really felt we were making a stand for masculine spirituality. So, so you're going on the offensive. Yeah, you know, people said, oh... You're you know, going after the season, devil. Season two, just before we started, there was a lot of adversity. You go, oh, people people were saying, oh, no, we'll pray for you. You're under spiritual attack. And I go, no, we're not. We're on the attack. This is just mm-hmm. a little bit of resistance. You know, no such thing as being under spiritual attack. Well, let, I want to do this you know? I want to do this real quick. We have a, some of the tagline, I guess, uh, some of the summary of the show, and I want you to elaborate on it if you can. It says, along the way, they pray the rosary in city brothels, celebrate mass in the wilderness and swamp or swap story fireside and bear reflects on the lessons God has taught him in the years since then and encourage those uh, he encounters along the way. So it sounds like there's a lot that we're going to see in this show. It's going to be one of those things where you're, you're going to want to see the next episode. Like episode three ends with one of our guys, you know, uh, having a medical emergency and motorcycle going down. And, you know, we don't tell you whether he lives or not and stuff like that. But the thing about this show is that it is a reality show, and I, I prayed about this show. We prayed about it, and I scripted, you know, kind of like the basic outline and certain things that I was going to be ready for, but the Holy Spirit made everything happen, and if some of the things that happened, you couldn't have, Hollywood couldn't have done it. It's the Holy Spirit, it's what we call the Holy Spirit Action Plan. Certain things that happened, there's just no way you could, you could make happen. Certain people that we met, and then met again, on two occasions, we met the same people twice, hundreds of miles apart, hmm. and uh, so it was just really, uh, it's just really gritty, by the way, extremely gritty and tough, and and uh, we, you know we're we're riding to show that you know uh, being a being a man of God isn't like being Ned Flanders, that's for sure. You know, the <laughs> next door neighbor. It's also you know, not. It's, it's, it's all you know. One of the examples we use is also not being Homer Simpson. You know, I think 
when people think of the dad of the family, that's we've used that example a lot. Right. That Peter Griffin and Homer Simpson are oftentimes the portrayed man of the family, which is a buffoon who. So yeah, it, it's neither it's neither Ned Flanders nor nor Homer Simpson. But we're standing up for we're at, we're standing up for masculine spirituality. That, that I remember I was riding and the Lord gave me the words valor, virtue, and victory. That a, a man to really feel engaged in his faith has to experience those three things. It has to be part of you know uh, their pursuit. You know is to, is to is to stand for stand for those things. And when we went to the Big Bend, we were right down there where. You know, blackjack Persian chased Pancho Villa across the Mexican border uh, you know, during the Mexican Revolution when the Mexican revolutionaries were riding in on their horses and into the churches and killing the priests and desecrating the altar. And the peasant men, the everyday guy, uh, blue-collar worker, if you will, stood up in the Cristeros movement, and they, they developed a battle cry, Viva Cristo Rey, Long Live Christ the King. When the Mexican revolutionaries would yell out, Viva la Revolution, they responded with Viva Cristo Rey. And, uh, and they prevailed. And I think that the men's movement, you guys can be part of this. Uh, we begin to greet each other every time we see each other now with this, with Viva Cristo Rey. I think men need to start ridge lining again and be seen on the hill. You know, not necessarily, I don't mean being bigots, but standing for beauty and truth and goodness and justice and, uh, and, uh, you know, and love. So Talk it's time for men to, to take on the cry of the Cristeros, I think. There's a need, we need a new, uh, battle cry for the men's movement. You're listening, to, you're listening to Man Up on Iowa Catholic Radio. Today we're joined by Barry Wozniak again, and we are discussing the topic of the long ride home. He and a group of men rode motorcycles from Cocoa Beach, Florida, all the way to Northern California, Central California, Monterey. And Barry, it's great having you back here again. Can you talk a little bit about the concept of ridge lining, what that means? Well, you know, we have this one scene that the Holy Spirit created for us we we would have we rise up early it was an hour or two before sunrise we went up to this mesa and i had the men get up on the ridge lines along the mesa which by the way i've read i've got my collection of louis the more books there 110 of them i think i've read all of them you know those cowboy westerns you know and he had always said you never would ridge line especially not in apache country because uh, people would see you you know you stay below the ridges but i had them all take the ridge line and as the sun rose behind them, I read the Apostles' Creed, and then I yelled to them, Viva Cristo Rey, and they yelled back, uh, Viva Cristo Rey. And they were silhouetted, silhouetted by the sunrise. And I just think it's time for men to, to, uh, to stand up for what they believe. I don't mean to be obnoxious, but I tell you what, if you're a man and you're spending an hour every day with the Lord in prayer, you're going to have the boldness, the words, and the, the overflowing uh, dedic- devotion to the Lord that you're going you're gonna, to uh, speak for Christ, and you're going to win souls for the Lord. Well, I think especially as we just came out of the Easter season and the boldness of the preaching, you know, people were attracted to the early church by their boldness. Right? Peter stood up, Stephen stood up, uh, all these great uh, apostles and disciples of Jesus stood up and were emboldened by the Holy Spirit. And the reason that they were be able, able to attract 3,000 people in a day is because they stood up and were bold preachers of the word and they spoke to truth and people saw that. And, again, the, the church is not going to change hearts and minds today by sitting on the sidelines and telling people, yeah, it's okay, just do whatever you want to do, and, you know, moral, you know whatever, whatever you think is the path to heaven is the path to heaven. That well, you is know, not inspiring. That, yeah, the churches that thrive today are true to the magisterium, the Catholic churches that are growing. You know, every morning, I, on my, wherever I am in the world, at sunrise, uh, I, 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 7 a.m., right around the sunrise, I, have, I turn on Facebook Live and I have a, and I and I read and teach for about fifteen to twenty minutes out of the Catholic Catechism, and yes. people watch it because the sun is rising behind me and there's ocean waves and stuff breaking. But they're getting you know the, the Catholic Catechism, you know that they you know it, it's it's um, a, a scholarly work, but it's also can, is very deep when you use it in your in your prayer life. I always read a page or two every day anyway, so I just turn on the Facebook Live camera, and we're we're sharing with people their faith. People need to know their faith. They need to know the reason for their hope, and they need to be well formed in their conscience, especially these days. You know, in their moral, in their moral stand. I, I got to get a little clarification of that. You, considering that we've now interviewed you in Hawaii, in Florida, seven a.m. What time? Well, it's seven a.m. Eastern when I'm in when I'm in Florida. But when I'm traveling, I just flip it on randomly. Okay. Wherever I am, you know, I, okay. wherever I am, I, I I'll try to do it seven a.m. Eastern usually. But okay. if I'm in in Israel, or if I'm going to be in 
Hawaii or something like that. I just get around to it when I do, and people kind of dig that too, you know. Yeah, so follow Bear Wozniak on Facebook, and you'll be able to uh, get get those updates. Yeah, you well. can't be my friend in, anymore, but you can follow me. <laughs> yeah. And, and deepadventure.com, of course, is our website. Bear, you on this uh, trip across the the south on motorcycles, you had this group of guys with you, this band of brothers. We talk a lot about on the show about the need for men to have kind of a tribe for authentic authentic friendship, you know, not just to have acquaintances but have these uh, authentic friendships uh, where you're you're heading toward the same goal. You know, which is God, and you're you're aware of, and you appreciate the other people, but you're also you're looking toward the same horizon, if you will. And I wonder, just maybe, if you had some thoughts about just the idea of of male friendship, which is so lacking today. As you... well, yeah, you know, one of the things we do is we we've, we've partnered a little bit with that man as you. I helped them get started in Hawaii, but now they're uh, promoting us, and we're promoting them. If you don't have a men's group in your church, start one. You know, if there's all you need is two one two other men. And start a men's group, but you know, at the very least, to have have a, a handful of men that you get together with every every week for at the local uh, craft brewing place or for breakfast or something, and have you a said, you said go to the craft eat, brewing place for breakfast, right? That's what you said. No, no. Well, I just I want mean, to make sure. Uh, we're... In the, in the, <laughs> no, I think you're reading into that. In the, in the evening, you know, or get to have some cigars with your buddies and a shot of whiskey, and get down and get real and uh, talk story about. Um, no, no politics allowed. You can talk a little bit about sports, but open up and talk about what's going on in your life. And, you know, my book, Deep Adventure, The Way of Heroic Virtue, is meant for people to read five pages at a time, you know, with, with their friends. Or there's the That Man Is You program or read the catechism together. I know the guys that have the, the Catholic Man Show, they've been reading through the 139 homilies of, of John Paul on the theology of the body. They so, read and they talk. And then, so don't just sit and talk. Have something that uh, is drawing out, drawing you into a yeah. deeper conversation. Yeah. yeah. And where can the our listeners get your book? Oh, at our website, deepadventure.com. Both of my books are there. And um, we also have all kinds of gear from Long Ride Home. we got patches and pins for bikers and T-shirts, and we've got the whole series available if you want to get that for your for, – uh, I don't know when the show is airing, but for your uh, for the Father's Day sort of late gift or whatever, they're, they're perfect for that. We have women's gear, too. So go to our website. We want to develop that long ride home sort of uh, tribe. Awesome. And again, it's on EWTN on Sunday nights at 10 p.m. Central Time. So uh, I will make a plug for Father Zach and myself. Uh, if you do another ride and it's through Iowa or thereabouts, just let us know. And you can do an episode on me uh, trying to ride a motorcycle for the first time. Well, the whole thing you do <laughs> that, right? yeah. Great tell television. The key about, let me tell you the key about getting a motorcycle. You want Go to- get it and go get it and then tell other people. Okay, tell well, your mom or your wife, so first go get the bike. There's my. I'm, I'm not kidding. But, I'll throw yeah. it to you that, and I went to school in Milwaukee, so Harley Davidson's obviously like you know oh, one dude. of the larger employers yeah. there, so I know all about that. I yeah, would say I will uh, I will hold off on my my wager to do it until I meet you in person as you ride through Iowa, and then I will jump on a motorcycle. So bear, well, hey, that's I, re- that, that's reason enough for us to go there. <laughs> Well, we appreciate you joining us again. Uh, thanks so much. And, again, check out the show uh, uh, 10 p.m. on Sundays on EWTN. Thanks so much, Bear. Will you guys say Viva Cristo Rey with me? Yeah, you bet. Viva, Viva, Viva Cristo Rey. Rey. Thanks so much yeah. for joining us, and we'll be back. My help comes from you. You're right here pulling through. You carry my weakness. Welcome back to Man Up on Iowa Catholic Radio. I am Joe Stopulus along with Father Zach Kautsky. And it's always fun to have Bear Wozniak on uh, with us. No, no shortage of energy or stories. <laughs> uh, I always feel like I've got a lot more to do with my I kind of want to go buy a motorcycle now. <laughs> he is the man. Yeah. Uh, so, again, always great to have him. And make sure you guys can tune in uh, 10 p.m. Central Time Sundays to see his show. Now for your 99-second homily with Father Zach. This is a reading from the book of Sirach, chapter 2. My child, if you are going to serve the Lord, be prepared for times when you will be put to the test. Be sincere and determined. Keep calm when trouble comes. Stay with the Lord. Never abandon him, and you will be prosperous at the end of your days. Accept whatever happens to you. Even if you suffer humiliation, be patient. Gold is tested by fire, and human character is tested in the furnace of humiliation. Trust the Lord and he will help you. Walk straight in his ways and put your hope in him. The word of the Lord.
Thanks be to God. I think a very, very uh, powerful quote here, one one to commit to memory, just that fact that it's not a question of uh, if we're going to be tested in this life. It's a question of when. And so I think when we're when we're in the situation where we really feel like we're being tested or we're uh, somehow being humbled, that it's important to not be alone in that and to, uh, as as Sirach says, stay with the Lord and never abandon him and you will be prosperous at the end of your days. And so I think one of the ways we can do that is to continue to be faithful every day to prayer and, and also to have those spiritual friendships, not just acquaintances, not just people that we kind of know at work or, you know, that we talk to on a surface level, but to have have a few friends that we truly we are uh, on a journey with. And I think that's what was so important about what Bear talked about was mm-hmm. that, you know, he didn't ride across the United States alone on the motorcycle. He had people with him. And more and more him. joined him. And more joined him, yeah. And I think that reading from Sirach, which is one of my favorites, I go back to that one in prayer quite frequently. Part of it says when you come to serve the Lord, be prepared for, for temptations. But it's talking about this lifetime of service to the Lord. Is, and so – with Bear talking about a journey he's going through, I think it's interesting that Sirach talks about how it's it's a long journey, and then as gold and silver are tested in fire, acceptable men in the furnace of humiliation. So there's going to be setbacks, but that's how you grow. That's how you grow in your faith. And uh, <laughs> I have a feeling in watching the show, there's going to be a lot of setbacks along the way, and Bear will be embracing. All of those, I'm really like, looking forward like, to watching you know, more like episodes, yeah. hurricanes and just small little blips in the radar like that. So, again, great to have Bear on and, and discuss the important issues of, of faith and, and masculinity and friendship. So we continue to, uh, to encourage our listeners to, to form those, those friendships, especially uh, friendships among men, small groups of men, uh, to, to grow together. So as we close every show, we have to remind you, very kindly, that Iowa Catholic Radio is listener-supported. So please consider uh, making a tax-deductible donation at iowacatholicradio.com. And thank you again for joining us today on Man Up on Iowa Catholic Radio. For Father Zakowski, I'm Joe Stopulus. It's time to man up. Man Up, inspiring men to live out their call to holiness with Joe Stopulus and Father Zakowski. Heard Mondays at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. on Iowa Catholic Radio. Brought to you by Construction Professionals.